Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today, Ivani Gupta will be telling you about Portrait Parley. So, this video basically includes the introduction of Portrait Parley, history, primary goals, categorization, Bertillian Portrait Parley and a short summary. So, let's start with the introduction of Portrait Parley. So, Alfonso Bertillian was the first to evolve a system of describing different parts of human figures. He called this system as portrait parley, meaning likeness. Bertillian uh, was basically a French police officer and uh, a biometric researcher who applied the anthropological techniques to law enforcement creating an identification system which was based on the physical measurements of body parts. He is also considered as the father of criminal identification. Before uh, his engagement in French police, Bertillian was also served in the French army and when he was 26, he started working as a clerk in the criminal records office of Paris. When it comes to the history of portrait parley, in 1882, Alfonso Bertillian, which is also known as father of scientific detection, said that anthropology could be used in the recognition and identification of criminals. Then, in 1883, Bertillian system was officially adopted as a criminal identification technique and it is first used in the Paris and later in the whole of France. Martin Dupont case was the first instance where Bertillian was successfully able to identify a serial offender. Only then this gave a lot of popularity to this system. Alfonso Bertillian in History of Science was the first to develop this system of physical measurement of body parts, especially components of head and face, to produce a detailed description of any individual. This system of measurement was invented in 1879 and from then on is known as Bertillian system or Bertillionage. The first and uh, foremost private detectives used the Bertillian system to check uh, um, if a suspect already in the custody has been previously involved in any crimes or not. Uh, simultaneously, law enforcement agencies begin to cre create archives of records of non-criminal where they contain information regarding anthropometric measurement as well as full face and profile photographs of the perpetrator. By this, despite using fake identity, the criminals was betrayed by their own body measurement and quickly confessed. Let's discuss about the primary goal of portrait parley. So, the primary goal of portrait parley in forensic science is to create a detailed verbal description or sketch of an individual's physical appearance based on eyewitness account and this technique aimed to capture specific features such as facial characteristics, height, weight, hair color, eye color, scars, tattoos and other identifying marks or traits. Also, uh, forensic artists or trained uh, professionals work with witnesses or victims to recall and describe the appearance of a suspect or an unidentified person. The information gathered through portrait parley technique help law enforcement create visual representations such as sketches or digital renderings that can be circulated to aid in identifying or apprehending suspect in criminal investigations. Also, it is uh, known as composite art or composite drawing which serve as a visual tool to assist investigators in generating leads and engaging the public in identifying individuals involved in criminal activities. When traditional methods like uh, photographs or surveillance footage are not available, some characteristics which are often considered in portrait parlay are age estimation, sex estimation, ancestry or population affinity, 
stretcher estimation and individual traits so let's discuss these characteristics individually the very first is the age estimation so for determining the age of an individual from skeletal remains there is an uh, necessary to examine these features first is the epiphyseal fusion long bones have growth plates that fuse as a person ages assessing the fusion stage providing an estimate of age second is the dental development dental eruption and wear patterns as well as the presence or absence of certain teeth can help in estimation of age of an individual from the skeletal remains third is the cranial suture the closure and fusion of cranial suture can also provide clues about the age now the another characteristics is sex determination for sex determination biological characteristics such as pelvic morphology the pelvis shows sexually dimorphic features which females having a wider pelvic inlet and large sciatic notch due to the childbirth and skull morphology male skull tend to be more robust with larger muscles attachment while female skulls have a smoother features another characteristics is the ancestry or population affinity estimating ancestry involves examining various skeletal traits associated with different populations for example skull morphology features like shape of the skull nasal aperture and facial characteristics can hint about ancestry and dental characteristics can also help in the estimation of ancestry so next characteristics is stature estimation so estimating height from skeletal remains involves using regression formula based on the length of long bones such as femur tibia and humerus the last characteristics which we have to study is the individual trait so identifying unique characteristics or anomalies can aid in narrowing down potential matches or aiding identification efforts for example healed fractions uh, we can estimate about the previous injuries that have healed and can leave distinct marks on the bones next is pathological conditions conditions like uh, arthritis or bone diseases can leave specific signs on skeletal remains last is the dental records dental features or dental work can be compared with dental records for identification purpose so when it's come to categorization bertillon's portrait parle originally was divided into four categories as follows first is the determination of color so portrait parle is used to determine the color of eye hair beard and skin second is the morphological determination which includes the shape size direction and size of different parts of head and body etc third is the general de determination so in general determinations uh, it includes grade of soundness carriage voice language dress social standing etc last is the description of incredible marks which includes scare marks or tattoo marks now i will discuss about the components which are included in the bertillon's portrait parle the very first component is the height height gives the description of the person's height including an estimation or comparison of common objects example taller than a door frame or medium or short second is the build it explain uh, the individual's body type such as slim stocky athletic or overweight third is the age so it helps in approximating the age range based on the person's visible characteristics example wrinkles or youthful features fourth is the gender clearly stating the person's gender which is a fundamental identifying characteristics in forensic science fifth is the hairstyle explanation of the person's hairstyle covering aspects like hair color texture length and style will be fruitful in the forensic investigation last is the facial features which helps in discussing of a person's facial features including the shape of their face 
eye color nose shape mouth and any distinctive characteristic now in this slide you can see a sample of the bertillon card and you can clearly see that uh, it includes many aspects such as height stretch trunk head length head width cheek width etc so in summary i just want to say that it is thought that writing the description of person as described by the eye witness is easy but it is not the eye witness may not be capable of describing in words that individual seen by him nor will be the police personnel able to put down the appropriate description in order to overcome the problem which is the language barrier alfonso bertil evolved this system of illustrating different parts of human figures this system was known as portrait parle which was originally divided into four categories which we have discussed in our presentation thank you